Hello and welcome back to Watching to Extremes 2.0 with me, TNC1997. Welcome back to our Hammer Editor tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be covering how to make a skybox and how to start the basic mapping. And uh, if you missed the last episode, check it out because that's how to set the um, Hammer Editor up for Gary's mod. That is very crucial you do that. So, um, we're going to get straight on. Um, as you can see, you've got tools down the left hand side. You've got the select tool, search, and the, um, the camera tool, then entities, blocks, and just the textures, clipping, etc. So, for what you're going to do, you want to click the block tool, or, or you can press Shift and B alternately. And what you're going to want to do is, if you notice, if you, you can zoom in and out by using the scroll. However, what you can do, if you press Control in and then scroll, it will scroll all of the screens out. And then once you get this, the square come up, what you're going to want to do, just have the block tool. And basically, all we're going to want to do is just create a fairly big square. just roughly for example like that it's not quite a square but there we go and basically what you're going to want to do you can then browse and if you look you've got a long long list of all the different textures you can have what you're going to want to do type in the filter just type in sky and as you can see you've got all the different sky uh, all the different sky textures that can be used. Uh, we are going to use there this one here. Uh, it's called the, the skybox, and basically you're going to use that one there. So just double click, and that changes the texture. Then once we've got once you've got this done, oh, I'll have to make it a bit smaller right there. Once this is then done, all you're going to want to do is click enter and it creates it so now if you press the scroll on this and zoom out eventually there you go and now as you can see there is the sky however as you can see look in these views down here it's only well it's very thin so then what you're going to want to do is just drag it up and drag it down a bit more so then you end up getting a rough rough sort of square ish shape and then that then obviously you press in shift and Q to deselect and as you can see we then have our skybox so this is um it is crucial to have a skybox because if you don't then you will end up you may well end up getting errors when you run your map when you're compiling etc and that can then cause garage mod to crash and things like that so you always want to have just a skybox and basically you have then got two options if you want to make a map that has underground elements to it then what you can do is on here for example you could create like that have it so that it then runs from the ground level down to just about there and that then will mean that you have this space then to work with underground if you don't then obviously you can you don't need that and then you can just use the floor of the sky block and just texture that however what we will do we will use this so what you're going to want to do is drag it out, but make sure that you do not go outside of the sky block, otherwise that will create errors. So you want to make sure that you stick to the inside. Then if we just click on browse in the filter here, just type in grass. And then as you can see, you get lots and lots of different grasses come up. Uh, and the texture that I tend to use is this one here, grass floor. 002n so double click on that and then all you do then 
is just make it bigger up there, big down there, then just press enter. And so now with the camera tool, when we zoom in, as you may well have just saw, there you have the grass. And basically you can have it so that it's it's better like this because if you then try and fit the texture it will then look all blurry so it's better just to leave it like this so there you have the there you have the grass and there it is the big block you created however what you are going to want to do is the sky block as you can see it's not visible from the inside so what you're going to want to do go to tools make hollow and just freeze i use minus 64 so that is one essentially one gap on the grid just then press ok and there it is so this is now essentially our land mass that we can use to create buildings on etc etc so this is um that's basically the basics of how you can do it then obviously you could zoom zoom it into obviously the middle and then also you can start creating buildings for example you know just do no messing about with that uh, we will go more in depth in the um, coming tutorials and so if you join me yeah join me next time and we're going to start building work on this area so this is how to create the sky box which you can then in turn build in and yeah if you join me next time then we will commence building works thanks for watching catch you next time goodbye